are in the answer business. What that means is we are trying to give professionals information that they need um, to make decisions. So lawyers making decisions about cases, financial analysts making decisions about trading, um, accountants making decisions about you know taxing, tax law, um, so forth, and, and scientists making scientific decisions. We've been in the API business for a long time. We provide a lot of our information via API since the 90s, the early 90s. And we've got to a point now where we kind of need to revamp that experience. That's the reason why we're looking at Apogee and we're users of Apogee and we got an API program because we want to take that to the next level and make it easier for developers internally and externally to use our content. Perseverance, right? And we're not in a situation where people are forced to use our platform. So we really have to win them over and you've just got to keep on doing that. We've been learning that along the way. We cannot get sort of take the foot off the pedal on our own marketing internally of the of the API program. We thought we could just on the bet on the merit of the program, it would just work and it would just get adopted. Um, and we found out that you know it would be really actually kind of got traction when our CTO really put it, uh, a line item on his objectives, you know, in, in his um, uh, vision that APIs were going to be something for a large parts of the business already knew we already make lots of revenue from APIs. But I think that the, um, the change has been the, the, the parts of the business that didn't know that are really starting to realize that. And the biggest barrier I think that we have is overcoming the fear that of what API may mean to a company that makes its, it sees its core asset, it's the information that it owns. Some um, areas of our business who are very afraid actually that an API is opening the doors and then giving out the goods. We're not 100% in the, in the realization that it's not about opening for letting go, but more opening for partnership and for actual growth, right? So I think that is still a little bit that we have to work on, but we've definitely moved the needle, I think, on that. There are two things that are helping us. So one is our customers are actually starting to demand the API. So there is a whole actual transformation that's outside of our enterprise that's actually helping us. So you kind of have to leverage that way and find the the products uh, whose customers are demanding that level of integration, because then you've convinced the, 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 the owner of the content set, not because you're saying that, but because their customers are saying that, right? So trying to come up, find those use cases and, and, and latch onto them and, and um, sort of almost bring them to light is, is, a, is a big part of it. The second um, thing is actually just by providing the tooling to make their job really easy. So like, don't have them worried about security. We, you know, in, we, we have a standard, we've talked it through, we've got security to sign off on it. You know, just we lower the barrier. So even though, you know, even though, so we, if, we, if we can get them across the barrier that says our customers actually want this openness or this, you know, um, uh, connectivity and partnership with you. If you get over that, then the next step is just basically make it so plain, simple, and easy for them to use the tool and the platform that they don't have to even think about it. You know, it's not like they have to invest lots of money, lots of time. You know, we can say, you know, you know, let's get a, a proof of concept built in a, two days. Not even sometimes it's yeah. within the day, right? Uh, and then you know that it's not going to take you six months to do it. It's going to take you like one or two sprints. You know, like that kind of stuff, providing that level of tooling um, would be, I think, um, kind of a lesson learned um, in, the, in a way to, to get to that next level, you know. Oh, sometimes it drives you mad, <laughs> right? Yeah, sometimes you come across that API that somebody wants to expose um, and you look at it and it just sends shivers up your spine because it's just so terrible. And then other times you get engagement with um, development teams and you know, product managers and stuff like that and they just seem to get it and they just want to get stuff out and I think those ones are the ones that you've kind of got to really celebrate right because you know it, it comes through it goes out it, you get it into the platform really quickly and you just feel good about it and you just yeah that, that's that's what makes it good um, and actually even the even the difficult ones right if you can take that difficult API and you can make it easier for people to use. 
um, and more discoverable, etc., then actually that's also a win. What I really like that I'm seeing is, is actually like at the end of the day, they're saving money. It, I think that to me is exciting because we, we actually see people who are either saving money or actually the other day we just heard someone say, well, you, you know, six months of work that I had to do, I don't have to do it anymore because you have it, right? So like these kinds of things to me are the things that really get me excited to, to keep on going.